Romania is changing by the day after more than 40 years of communist rule. Even though it is not a common tourist destination, Romania is a land full of exotic charm. During my trip, I was touched by the warmth of people who were leading humble lives and preserving past traditions. Today's journey begins at a small village filled with stories of flowers and trees. The villagers live in harmony with nature and their lives are full of festivities. Let's explore the county of Maramures. Since there are no direct flights from Korea, I stopped over at a nearby country in the region before arriving at Bucharest, the capital of Romania. Starting from the modernized Bucharest, I pass by the cultural city of Shibiu and head for Vadu Ize, a commune of Maramures. My first impression here is that it's all green. More than 80% of the land is covered with forests. The villages are picturesque. At the entrance, there is a gate supported by large wooden columns. They feature traditional motifs, like the sun and the twisted rope. The wooden gate protects the village from evil. Elaborate wood carvings are a long-standing tradition of the Maramures region. Every house has a different gate, each with intricate carvings. In the past, the size and design of the gate was a symbol of the owner's status in society and wealth. While admiring the gates, I notice an interesting looking tree. There is a pot hanging on each branch. A red pot hanging from the top branch means that a woman of marriageable age lives in the house. The pots are hung in the hope of attracting suitors. This is not the only house with pot trees. How did this tradition begin? Cu ani în urmă, casele în zona Maramureșului fiind destul de mici, nu era spațiu pentru agățarea veselei și pe pristoa la fiecare casă. From a long time ago, Maramures was known for its vast stretches of forests and farmland. Today, the people still practiced old traditions. The villagers have placed their carpets on drying racks. Here, carpets are washed in a unique place. In a communal wash house, there is a fascinating wooden washing machine that tumbles large carpets, even without electricity. This hydro-powered system is the best washing machine for cleaning large carpets and rugs. Noi am venit aici numai pentru a le spăla. Este unicul loc unde spălăm covoare. Dumneavoastră cu covor la de la Corea, de la Corea. Da, aduceți și spălați aici. Da, da. 
I decide to join in. The washing process is quite a delight. People come here a few times a year to wash their carpets. The carpet is squeezed before being hung on a drying rack. A wooden stretcher is needed to lift the heavy carpet. I help to carry the carpet. It is much heavier than expected. This method of washing is an old tradition. I wonder why they follow this tradition even when modern washing machines are available. Aveți uh, mașina de spălat de care uh, spală cu o vară. Da, mare. avem, da. dar este la 70 de km distanță de aici mm -hmm. și e departe de, mm -hmm. de locul unde locuim noi. Mm -hmm. Și așa venim aici la, e mai aproape la vâltoare și se spală și mai bine, mm -hmm. ce e și metoda tradițională care o folosim noi în zona Maramureșului. Ah. There are many water wheels along the stream. They have been built for the villagers' convenience. Bien Saka is the man behind the wooden washing machine and water wheels. This wooden water wheel generates electricity for the surrounding street lamps. What's more surprising is that this stream is man-made. It's amazing how he managed to do it all on his own. The river flows in the opposite direction. For water to enter the man-made stream, Bian Saka built a low dam in the river's path. Iarba, vedeți, copaci ăștia. Deci, apa o folosim. Tradiția românească. Tradiția, sigur. De ce? De ce vă păstrați tradiția românească? Păi e cei mai avantajoase. Deci nu consum curent, nu plătesc, consum curentul meu, adus de apă. Existența mea o câștig prin apă, cu vâltoarea. Da, da. Nu. Trebuie să, cum să folosim de metoda economică. Economică. Da, da. Our world runs on electricity, but I learned that old ways are not necessarily inconvenient. Life revolves around the village monastery in Maramiras. This wooden monastery reflects the characteristics of this region. I visited the Sapanta Peri Monastery, which has the world's tallest wooden church. The building has a roof covered with intricate shingles. Romania is a Namu Gyoehen and Ajuk, Yumehamida. Kirkyonel Bomian, Chungsete, Romania young Judari, Turkey Gunago, Wejok Drago, Gentures Igisel Kenwenen, Jensen Kinyan Bishiguro, Namu Gyoehe, Namu Sudon Mandrigejo. This church was built to commemorate the Perry Monastery in Ukraine. It is still under construction. Let's take a look inside. Built 600 years ago, 
The building is still clean and well preserved. The walls are adorned with impressive paintings. Not a single nail was used in this huge building. Similar to traditional houses in Korea, the structure was built by interlocking wood. Inside the building, the exquisite interlocking of wood reveals the impeccable craftsmanship of Romania. The church itself is regarded as a masterpiece because of its artistic value and precision. Based on Gothic architecture of the Middle Ages, this wooden church embodies the region's culture and tradition. It is a popular tourist attraction in Maramures. People travel to reach a destination, but there is more to gain along the journey. As I travel across the forest and plains of Maramures, I am once again amazed by the purity and beauty of nature. This must be what paradise looks like. In the summer, a time when flowers are in full bloom, Romania holds a special festival. Borsa is located in eastern Maramures. I come across many villagers dressed in traditional costumes. Where are you from? People have gathered from neighboring cities for the festival. Each region's costume is unique. The children's faces are filled with anticipation and joy for the festival. Senzianele is the festival of flowers. It is a traditional practice to build crowns from Senziana flowers. The village is hit by sudden rain just before the parade, the highlight of the festival. The festive mood is not at all affected by the rain. 
The street musicians are livening up the atmosphere. The pan flute, a Romanian folk instrument, sounds beautiful. Each region has prepared a performance of its own. Everyone is busy with the final rehearsal. I can't help but follow their lively song and dance. They have been practicing for more than a month. I am looking forward to their show. What kinds of songs have the other groups prepared? The performance finally begins. This is the 31st anniversary of the San Zianelle Festival, where many nearby regions have gathered to celebrate. This song and dance is also a ceremony dedicated to the San Ziana fairies. The concert goes on for more than two hours. The San Zianelle Festival goes by a different name in each city, but its songs and dances are enjoyed by everyone. The festival continues into the night. Musicians get on stage and people are participating in various activities. The best of the festival is only just beginning. It is a torch made from fur. Pine resin lights up easily and burns for a long time. There's a special meaning in using pine resin. On the night of the festival, unmarried women wear crowns on their heads to protect their fates. Se 
casa. Uh -huh. The Sanziana fairies bring fertility to crops and true love for the people. It is a day when many lovers express their love for each other. Sky lanterns are being released into the sky. Many people have gathered to watch this magnificent sight. The people hope that the Sanziana fairies will help to make their wishes come true. A fire is lit to welcome the Sanziana fairies. With torches lit being throughout the night, the festival is also called the Night of Lights. At midnight, the Sanziana fairies come down to earth. The Sanziana fairies bring fertility to crops and help people to find true love for marriage. The torch lighting ceremony has been going on for hours. It holds a special meaning for the people. Anyone can participate in torch turning. They all take turns in turning the torch. <laughs> Reminiscing about my childhood, I joined them in the special ceremony. A festival is not complete without drinking. I'm given a glass of a traditional Romanian alcoholic drink. The traditional drinks are Tuica and Palinka, which have alcohol contents at 50 to 60%. It was a night of fun with the villagers. Through the festival, I experienced the unique culture of each region.
This summer's San Zianele Festival in Romania has become an unforgettable experience for me. Sapanta is a commune in the northwestern end of Romania. The village cemetery here is truly one of a kind. It looks different from any other cemetery. The tombstones feature colorful paintings and inscriptions. The epitaphs are what make this cemetery unusual. This cemetery a cemetery that contains the village history. It is a place to reminisce about the lives of loved ones. Here, death is not regarded as solemn. It is something that adds joy to life. Cimitiri vesele în special din cauza culorilor vesele folosite, nuanțe, nuanțe aprinse de de albastru în principal, albastrul de săpânța mm -hmm. și uh, din cauza versurilor mai, uh, mai amuzante și a poveștilor scrise pe cruci, unde se uh, explică viața celor decedați. The signs of tombstones are covered with stories of those buried here. The paintings portray how the people used to be before death. There are also messages expressing love for their family members. The paintings bring to mind an image of their lives. Some inscriptions are sad, but most are humorous and poetic. <laughs> the Mary Cemetery was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its cultural value. Tourists come from all over the world every day to visit this special cemetery. Dar în general tot scriu uh, nu, își dau numele, de exemplu, Pop Floarea mă numesc. Da. Uh, da. Eu aici o dinesc. Oricum rimează, este ca un fel de poezie și de aia mi se pare interesant. It's wonderful. It's so jolly. It's so sort of um, it's, it's really nice to make something fun out of, out of something so sad, you know. And to make something so beautiful so that each person has their own special memorial. Stan Patras, who created the cemetery in 1935, is no longer in this world. He was a sculptor, poet, and an artist. His apprentice, Tin Q, continues the tradition of painting tombstones. Good morning. Good morning. 
ziua. Ce mai faceți? Bine! Îmi pare bine că ați venit. Tinku has been painting tombstones for more than 30 years. I went behind the cemetery to visit his studio. I am curious about how these tombstones are made. He uses oak trees from the forest near the village. I ask him to design my tombstone, but he finds it difficult. It's because he must first hear about my life story. Textul eu îl fac în funcție de cum a fost persoana, mm -hmm. dacă uh, cum a fost cunoscut în comunitatea noastră. Mm -hmm. uh, eu fiind de aici, cam cunosc toți oamenii uh, din, uh, din localitate și uh, cum s-au comportat că nu se poate face diferență niciodată între persoană. Nu se poate scrie de rău dacă omul a fost bun. Nu se poate scrie de bine dacă omul a fost rău. Și aici este o problemă foarte interesantă pentru textele de pe cruci. Și noi încercăm să păstrăm originalitatea. In addition to tombstones, Tinkyu also creates many sculptures. They tell stories of different lives. The tombstone painters of Mary Cemetery allow us to realize the meaning of life through death. În 1977 sunt continuator direct al Ion Stan Pătraș și eu duc această tradiție mai departe și încerc ca să o mențină așa cum el a pornit-o, ca să nu o distrugem în timp. Și pe vremă totul ce merge de, 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 și înainte se va lucra foarte mult manual, nu se lucrează mecanic, cu nimic absolut. Și din cauza asta încercăm să păstrăm tradiția și originalitatea lucrării ca atare. With a heart filled with happiness, I leave the village of Sapanta.